So, good morning, everybody. Um, oh, you said it back. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm in church. Um, I'm Rihanna Gunwright. I'm the Director of Climate Policy at the Roosevelt Institute, and I would really just like to echo Marissa in thanking you all for joining us today. It is really, truly an honor to have you here, sharing your time and energy with Roosevelt and with all of our incredible panelists. And truly, I do not take for granted that you chose to be here and to share your time with us. Um, so as many of you know, Efficiently greenlighting the development of renewable energy projects is crucial to the success of a transition to clean and renewable energy. Um, and as a result of that, permitting reform has emerged as a central focus of IRA implementation and a rare opportunity for bipartisan cooperation. But to date, the conversation about permitting reform has been dominated by proposals that would weaken the National Environmental Permitting Act, one of the nation's foundational environmental protection laws, largely by limiting public participation and environmental review through measures like time limits, page limits, and reducing the amount of time citizens have to file suit. As many panelists will share, it's unclear how much these proposals will help support the timely development of renewable energy projects, but the effect is likely to be limited. What, but what is certain is that these reforms, if undertaken, especially if undertaken without any regard to the quality or type of project, will not only make frontline communities more vulnerable to exploitation by fossil fuel industries who stand to gain the most from these changes, but are more likely than not to replicate what Nathaniel Green, one of our wonderful speakers today, describes as the destructive and racist permitting solutions exploited by the incumbent energy system. Just as importantly, they would make it more difficult for there to be a credible means of democratic control and participation during what will be an unprecedented build out of clean energy infrastructure. And at a time when trust in government is so low and mistrust of clean and renewable energy projects is increasingly high, especially in communities where these projects are likely to be built, curtailing democracy actually risks a backlash that could ultimately slow the transition. Luckily, as today's panels will share, there are many ways to advance climate justice and maintain public participation while supporting and streamlining the permitting of renewable energy projects and the transmission these projects will require. The ideas that you will hear today are some of the reforms best suited to address some of the larger issues that threaten to stymie the build out of renewable energy. Because the question of how to build out renewable energy more quickly and in greater volume is not only a technical problem, it's a problem of political economy. The US still has an economy and an energy system designed for and reliant on, fossil on the use of fossil fuels which means there are still a slew of powerful actors who profit greatly from the status quo and stand ready and willing to protect it. Everyone from fossil fuel companies to recalcitrant utilities to some state and local agencies, particularly in regions reliant on fossil fuel. But permitting reform, if done right, um, provides an opportunity to not just confront these actors, but to design our system to limit their influence in the clean energy economy that we are trying to build. And rather than limiting the influence of communities and their advocates. Because while the latter may promise some short-term wins, however specious those might be, <laughs> Uh, it is only the former that can create the trust and structural changes we need to successfully build the green transition for the long haul. And with that, I would like to introduce the first panel of the day, What's the Problem with Permitting, which will help us all understand what permitting is. So for everyone here, there's a little bit of permitting one-on-one. You're welcome. Um, the role it plays in the development and success of renewable energy projects and the many actors who have to be involved for all of this to go well. So with that, 
I'd like to introduce the moderator, Hannah Vogel, um, from the office of Senator Markey. Uh, take it away, Hannah. <laughs> 